what's up guys welcome to POV by me it's March 18th 2023 and today we're gonna be taking a drive down Brook Park Road Route 17 all the way from Parma Ohio to the Cleveland International Airport now this is the industrial road of Northeast Ohio. It goes all the way from Bedford Heights, which is behind us, and all the way to North Olmsted, which is our direction, west. And it's one of the weirdest roads because it's got some really really nasty parts but then it kind of turns into green road as we get closer to the west side deeper into the west side but this road is very important because there are some factories on this road GM has a major plant here Ford has a major plant here. The Malley's Chocolate Company has a major plant here. There's also a lot of just industrial little factories and units. And we're basically going to be driving through Parma, which is where we are right now. We're going to be entering Brook Park. Parma's to the left, uh, Brooklyn's to the right. If we drive straight down um, Brook Park Road, we're going to first enter Brook Park, then we're gonna enter the city of Cleveland, then we're gonna enter Fairview Park. If we keep driving, we're gonna get into North Olmsted. But I think we're just gonna get to the airport today. So, as you can see, it's quite busy. It's only three o'clock on a Saturday. Very cold, very, very windy. It was snowing earlier in the day. But the road is really beat up, especially in the city of Brook Park. Um, there's also a lot of major kind of outlets along the way. There's a, a Walmart, there's a Home Depot, there's a Menards, there's a Best Buy. They got everything you need on Brook Park. A lot of car dealerships, as you can see to the left. We got a Hyundai dealership. Um, there's a lot of fast food along the way, probably for all the people who work in this neighborhood. We got an Arby's over there on the right. In between Arby's and Taco Bell is Swenson's and Swenson's if you're not from Ohio it's uh, it's a burger joint that started in Akron I think in the 30s or the 60s I don't quite remember but it's old and uh, they got it's like um, a car service you drive up you turn on your headlights and a kid runs out of the little building and uh, takes your order and you can either eat there or you can... Although this one, I think, uh, you can actually walk in and order. So right to the right, we have Value City Furniture. Pretty popular furniture store. And then to the right, we got Menards. This is uh, a great... I love this place. When I was fixing up my house with my dad... I used to go here once a day, sometimes a couple of times a day. They have a really great garden center and a really great selection of stones and rocks and uh, wood. So you got a Ford dealership on the left here. Napa Auto Parts on the right. There's a clinic outpatient clinic here department of VA this is the VA on the left 
Golden Corral popular buffet. It's always packed. Um, it's always busy there. Then to the right, there's the Valley College right here. To the right is Valley College. That's where you go and get your trucker's license. Eight month program. Um, factory outlet, Cleveland Furniture. This is where they make the, this is where they make some of the furniture right here on the right. So you still got, you know, even though a lot of American businesses have moved overseas, you still got a lot of, you know, little businesses, 50, under 50 employees, little factories, little schools. To the left is Big Creek Reservation, which is a park, part of the Cleveland Metro Parks. It's very nice. Here's Walmart on the right. Gas is at 312 today, unleaded for club members. And Sam's Club, too. Got Sam's Club. Now you can hear probably how beat up this road is. Brook Park is known, especially in the city of Brook Park, for being really, really beat up. This is um, Tiedemann. Get on the highway from here. Got McDonald's, Long John Silver's, one of the last few in, in this area. We used to have them all over the place. IHOP, Home Depot. I go here all the time as well. It's actually a pretty good Home Depot. Not too busy. On the right is Gordon Food Service Store. It's a cool store. I don't know if you got those in your neck of the woods, but... Uh, it's almost like... It's kind of like Restaurant Depot. But... It's not as... Uh, it's not as big, it's not as bulky. On the left, you got a big plant here. And this, I believe, is the General Motors plant. Look how huge it is. I've been in there. I went there for the state of the city of Parma once. So this is the GM Farm Operations plan. Look, it's starting to snow. Look how huge it is. And it employs a lot of people. A lot. Good jobs. Union jobs. They were having, um, they were having, um, a strike three years ago. And they'd be right here outside. Uh, right around here is a lot of bars and restaurants because these guys get out of work and you got a big boy restaurant I don't know if you still got those in your neck of the woods big boy I've actually never been to big boy so we're now at the corner of uh, West 130th in Brook Park and um we're going to pass by some adult entertainment venues. This is a, a spot where they all concentrate. You can actually see these adult um, strip clubs, essentially, uh, off the highway. That's why they're... Because Brook Park runs uh, parallel to 480. And uh, a lot of these places decided to put their businesses on Brook Park so people can see it off the highway. You got Bob Evans, Rocky's Adult Videos, and here's the Mally Chocolate Company. This is where this is like a very big uh, chocolate company here and everybody loves it. And I actually remember going on a tour of the factory when I was in School. Lexus dealer.
dealership, Toyota dealership. What's this? There's a showroom. I don't even know what this is on the right. Sunbelt Rentals. I have no clue. Mazda dealership. Look at this travel lodge on the left. It looks so... It's like from a time warp. Let's drive inside and let's drive around the parking lot and see what it looks like. Wow. Look at this place. Check this place out. It's like from a movie. Stuck in time. I wonder what the daily rate is here. No clue. I thought you could turn around here, but maybe not. Travel Lodge by Windham. It's gotta be like 50 bucks. You can't, I, I wouldn't pay more than 50 bucks to stay here. Look at this view. I mean, come on. This is like pretty sad. But in a weird way, it's got this chic style to it. Maybe not chic is the, maybe chic is not the right word, but it's definitely, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I can't imagine who's, who would stay there. Oh shit, is this even a... Exit? I don't think it's an exit. It's just a street. I'm gonna go back the way I came. Just a little side, side tour, you know. I like to uh, 